Okay, guys, so we have those two wall clocks in front of us. The one to the right is a problematic, actually. It consumes the battery in a very short time, like two weeks, three weeks, or even lesser than that. But the one to the left is absolutely nice. It takes seven or eight months before you change or replace the battery. Fortunately, the one to the right is one that is mostly looked at. It is hanged outside to the corridor and it is used by the wife to prepare the children in the mornings for the for the for the schooling and it is actually uh, used by everyone so and it's very difficult to replace the battery every week every two weeks you know what i'm saying so what we are going to do actually we will modify this clock to extend the battery for months instead of weeks we want it to be like this so there are many ways we even can design a battery for this clock to last for five years. Maybe I will do another episode about that. So you stick with this channel if you want to know how. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, show you how we can solve this problem. Okay, here we are. And I supplied a new battery for the clock. This is the old battery. And it's completely consumed. It reads 0.7 volts. All right, so before we start, I'd like to tell you something about the uh, the uh, wall clocks. If you want to buy a wall clock, so this kind of a clocks that moves continuously like this, if you can see, is really uh, uh, recommended because uh, that is the way it saves the battery. But the one that moves with every second like this is actually uh, consuming the battery faster than that. But unfortunately, as I said, this is not the case with this uh, watch here, but we will solve it. So the first thing you might do uh, in order to save the battery is to, you can see for instance here, those heads, they are very large and heavy. So you might shorten the second head here. You might cut it from here, or you may take it away actually. And then you might also uh, slim all those hits the minutes hit and the hours hit a little bit to make them more lighter that would be very helpful in conserving the power of the battery so that it will take longer but we will do something else because we will open it and see uh, the coil it's all related to the coil you know what i'm saying because the coil should have no less than 2.2 kilo ohms as resistance that way it will help uh, conserving and saving the power because it's not going to uh, 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 draw so much uh, current from the battery, you know. But the less resistant coil will do and that will actually consume the battery faster. So you may increase the coil a little bit if it is short. You may put more coil on the coil itself to make it 2.2 kilos kilo ohms at least this or you may you may put a resistance in series in between the coil and uh, uh, actually in the circuit board uh, you might check for the uh, uh, the mechanics inside the the clock itself you know the sprockets and uh, all of these you know to make sure that there is nothing stopping the watch from uh, uh, free movement that would also uh, uh save the the, the 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 battery you can also add some uh lubricant to the uh uh to the uh mechanics inside the inside the clock let us open it and show you step by step how we can do all of that i found this one and i open it thinking that there's something inside see there's nothing inside this is only the board Thank you. 
to me, seems to me that this is actually a very little uh, coil. Should be more than this. This is a Chinese. It was shortened like this because this is economically helpful to them. Let's measure its resistance. Oh my god. 500 ohms. That's poor. So this is the reason guys. This is a very poor winding and short. That's bad. Let's go ahead and add on it.